Hello everyone, this is Robert with Air Gun Addicts. I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. And I thought I'd bring out a big bore. Um, a lot of you guys and gals may know this gun already. It's been around for a while. Uh, this is the Benjamin Rogue uh, 357 caliber. This is the big bore. Um, I got this gun in um, 2012, I think. Um, and uh, the only thing I've ever done with it is actually uh, just sight it in. And then I was going to do something different with it, so I took off the scope and just ended up leaving it in the safe. So it's been sitting all this time. Um, this is, uh, you know, it's a very, it's a pretty large gun. Um, although it's large, although it's long, it's not uh, as heavy as you think or as heavy as it looks. My uh, FX Bobcat, the 30 cal, is actually heavier than this. Um, this is, however, a little front heavy, um, so that's the only difference also as far as weight goes. And um, also on the bottom they have a, a little Picatinny rail for a bipod. Um, so let's go through this and I'll explain to you and show you a couple of things about this gun. Um, it's, it's, it's sort of got an AR feel to it uh, because the butt pad is collapsible so you can adjust it however you please to wherever your uh, reach is on the trigger. And um, the other thing also is you can change out the, the, uh, the grip on this. Um, it's just like you do with, with an AR-15. Um, and then also, uh, you know, I, I know all of you who know the Benjamin Road know that it's electronic. Uh, so this is for those who um, do not know anything about the road, and that is this is electronic. So now what I did was I took out the batteries because um, as you guys know, a lot of times when you leave batteries in something, um, the batteries begin to bleed. And so I didn't want to uh, damage the electronics, so I, I took out the batteries. Now, uh, this is where the batteries go. It's two AA batteries right there. Um, and so that's where the batteries go. You can see all the wires in here. And this actually, by the way, this is waterproof, uh, just so you guys know. Um, and uh, so I wanted to show you that, but yeah, you can, you'll know the PSI, the, you'll know the PSI, uh, the shots. Now, when they originally made this gun, they gave it three powers, high, medium, and low. Um, this is the second version, which is uh, a little bit different because they only gave it two powers, which is high and low. Um, so this is the, the second version and um, all the display is on here and how much power you want the gun to have you can you can adjust that right here uh, through the arrows and, and through the uh, eternal system right here this gun is actually um, even though it's a big bore at 357 uh, it is actually pretty quiet um, I mean it, it's it's really quiet it, it doesn't have a bark at all and I know that if you put a uh, silencer on here, it'd be even more quiet. But this is really quiet for a big boy. Um, and uh, the trigger's nice. It has a safety right here. Here's the safety. It's nice and true. You can hear it even click. Um, a nice safety. I like this safety. I don't like the safety where it's right in front of the trigger. I think that's just an accident waiting to happen but uh, some people don't mind that, but obviously uh, uh, to each his own as far as that goes. Um, this, uh, the f how you feel this is the field probe right here. So you just unscrew it right here. And then it's just a quick disconnect right here, uh, a female connect right here. Uh, and then you just feel it from there. And actually, so when you feel this, you'll hear the solenoid click. And then once it clicks, that lets you know that you're at the right pressure. And then you can open up the air tank wide open to fill it up. Um, 
I'm trying to remember all the things about this gun because it's been so long since I've actually even looked at it, uh, studied on it, and, and actually, you know, sighted it in. Um, the, the pressure is, is 3,000 PSI. Uh, the foot-pounds of energy that this gun generates is well over 100. Uh, again, I, it's been so long, I can't remember exactly how much. Those of you who know, you can comment below under the video and let me know. Um, uh, if you if you actually know what the uh, foot pound for this gun is, but I've seen uh, the Benjamin Rogue uh, take out or take down Red Stag in Africa. Um, I've seen it take down a couple other um, deer type animals in in Africa as well. I've seen it take down whitetail here in North America. I've seen it take down bear as well, um, coyote obviously. Um, so this is definitely a big bore gun, um, and it's pretty powerful, capable of, of doing um, a lot of damage. This is not, definitely not the hair guns that we grew up with as, as children. Uh, this can do some serious damage. Um, but uh, hopefully um, I'll get the right scope on this, and you guys will see some upcoming videos of uh, me hunting. Uh, with this and taking out um, um, coyote, uh, maybe mule deer. I'll have to actually travel to do that because New Mexico's laws do not allow uh, air guns uh, to uh, be used to harvest uh, mule deer. Um, so, <clears throat> and obviously there's no issues with coyotes. Uh, so, um, but hopefully you guys will be able to see some upcoming videos with uh, me using this big bore rifle um, to take out some, some large game. Also, um, what I wanted to say um, about this gun as far as accuracy goes, uh, this gun is actually pretty accurate. Um, I wouldn't shoot past, uh, I wouldn't shoot anything past 100 uh, with this, but it's definitely, it's definitely uh, accurate enough uh, to take down uh, large gain within a hundred yards. Um, let me show you the bullets that that uh, some that I had made and then in the ones that actually came with the gun. These are the ones you guys may rec remember the name or recognize the name, Mr. Hollow Point. Uh, he's pretty popular on the, on the uh, YouTube channel in, in the air gun world. Um, he does a lot of neat stuff on his channel. Um, so I had him. Uh, make me some bullets uh, for the Benjamin Rogue, and, I, and I'm not quite sure what the grain is. I have him make me three different types of bullets at, at different weights, and I'm not quite sure what this weight is, but this is actually um, a slug, and it's a hollow point slug, and it, it's, pretty, it's pretty solid, pretty heavy. This could do some serious damage in whatever game it hits. I mean, this, this will go through bone. So, um, and, and the Benjamin Rogue has the power to, to do that, to push it out, uh, to get through the bone. But this is a hollow point that I had him, had Mr. Hollow Point make for me. Uh, pretty large slug, as you can see. Um, and that's one of them. I, again, I had him make, I had him make three, uh, and I just brought one pack just to show you guys. Um, the size of the bullet. Here's the clip that it comes in. It's a six round clip. It's just a standard uh, uh, Benjamin clip. Um, and uh, so you just load these just like you do any, any standard Benjamin clip. Pretty large clip. You see how wide it is. That's because how big, the, how large the bullets are. Um, and so that's that. The, the one thing that I will say about this big board is that uh, the reason why I chose this over the Air Force uh, line of air guns is because uh, I didn't like the fact that you had to single load. Now there's a lot of guys out there that, that don't mind single load. In fact, they, they prefer single load over, uh, over a magazine. Um, but uh, I'm just not one of those guys. I, I prefer to have a, uh, I prefer to have a clip, a magazine, um, so that if the first shot's not a good shot, um, you can actually follow up fairly quickly 
without having to worry about the animal running off and, and you losing the animal. So that's the reason why I chose the, the Benjamin Rose over the Air Force line. Even though I, I've seen good things on the Air Force line, I, I have nothing against the Air Force. Um, and, and they're actually pretty accurate, extremely accurate, and very powerful. Like I say, I, I just prefer to have uh, a multi-shot big bore versus a single shot. Um, let me show you the bullets that were, that were actually specifically made for uh, the Benjamin Rose. And these are the, um, um, the, Benj the Benjamin uh, nozzlers. These have a, uh, they have a ballistic tip on them. And um, these also are very, very uh, nice bullets. You see the ballistic tip on there right there, the red tip. Uh, I've actually seen, um, I think his name is Ian. Uh, uh, from Europe, he uh, did a hunt out in Africa with these particular bullets, and I've seen these bullets actually go through bone in the red stag. Uh, so these are really capable bullets. Um, they're pretty accurate, um, and they're, they got a nice size weight to them. Uh, the grain on these is 140, 145 grain. That's the weight on, on these bullets. Um, I would say that uh, Mr. Hollow Point, for sure, uh, these grains are much heavier. The grain weight on these is much heavier than the uh, the, ben the Benjamin Nozzle, Nozzle tips. The other thing that that is is a little bit not difficult, just different when it comes to big bore, is that we all know that with uh, with uh, the regular, the regular calibers, the 22s, 177s, 25s, you get a sizable amount of pellets. You know, you get 150, 200, 250, things of that nature. But uh, the thing with, with big boards, you know, these right here, this is a brand new box, and only 25 came in this. So you don't get as many as slugs, uh, a big board that you do when you get the the more popular um, rounds. Um, so that's that's the only difference that I know of as far as when it comes to ammo and, and the cost of ammo uh, regarding big boards and the popular boards. Um, so again, I just wanted to share with you guys some of some more of the guns that I have and and really just show one of my big boards, um, my 357 Benjamin Rogue. And, and uh, you guys feel free to comment on it. Uh, I know I left out some information on the foot pounds of energy um, and some things of that nature. So if you guys know that, again, just feel free to comment at the bottom, uh, the bottom of the video. And uh, like I said, hopefully you guys will see some, some more videos coming up with me using this on some large game here in, uh, in uh, North America, specifically uh, New Mexico. Um, so this is it. This is my big bore and uh, Benjamin Rogue. And uh, I hope you guys remember uh, to give me a like at the bottom of the of the video, and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And um, thank you very much for watching the video. And remember, it's not about the hunt; it's about the memories. Bye bye.